All right, Shalom Wam, Shalom Wam to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before I get started, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rachakwadash, double honors to my apostles and my elders of Great Millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honors before I can push the word in true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Shalom Wam, peace and blessings to the sincere. I can push the word in true faith and sincerity across the four corners. This is the brother you die from Jimmy's Atlanta Church. Come with another, another lesson through the Spirit. Um, the U.S. Capitol building a couple of days ago and going to this uh, this woman right here who was shot in which if you search online, if you search, uh, you know, with her name, you can actually find some footage of her um, being judged, man, and being put to death. Um, of course, for the sake of not wanting to get flagged or anything on my channel, I'm not going to show, show that, but you, know, you can definitely uh, just search down on your own if you would like to see that. But, you know, this uh, this is a, yet another sign of the the fall of, of America, man. So let's get read into this article. It's from the Washington Post. It says, woman fatally shot as pro-Trump mob stormed the Capitol, identified as Air Force veteran. Uh, so this, this uh, woman here, her name is Ashley Babbitt. It says Ashley Babbitt, 35, was shot and killed in the Capitol Wednesday. It says when a group of pro-Trump rioters stormed the Capitol and smashed windows on Wednesday, a woman jumped onto a pane and started through. Seconds later, a gunshot rang out and the woman who had a Trump flag tied around her waist tipped back and fell onto the marble floor as blood spilled from her shoulder. They shot a girl, someone yelled, as the crowd ran out of the southeast entrance she later she died later that day police said she was one of four fatalities from the violent rioting that wrecked havoc through the halls of congress on wednesday halting the certification of president-elect joe biden's electoral victory three others died of unspecified medical emergencies during the chaos the woman was 35 year old ashley babbitt a california native and air force veteran her former husband told the Washington Post before her death in the Capitol, she had used her social media to express fervent support for President Trump and echo many of the president's conspiracy theories and false claims of mass voter fraud. See, so it's going to show you, man, that a lot of American citizens are uh, uh, in a daze, man. You know, they are fully engulfed and fully enveloped by the the witchcraft that the elites of this uh, of this society have placed upon them in which they don't know really what's going on, man. You know, the um, the elites of of e uh, Edom Esau pretty much have these people under a, a spiritual control in which ultimately we understand that that's the will of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai, but, you know, just making the point that a lot of these American, American citizens are really um, blind, okay? Police have not yet confirmed Babbitt's identity or confirmed details about how she was shot. The woman was shot by U.S. Capitol Police, D.C. Police Chief uh, Robert J. Conti III told reporters on Wednesday. And like I said, if you really want to see the video of her um, receiving her judgment, uh, you know, you can just search online for it. And, uh, it's not really hard to find. Um, Babbitt, a native of San Diego, served in Afghanistan and in Iraq in Iraq in the Air Force before other deployments with the National Guard to Kuwait and Qatar. Ex-husband Timothy McKenzie told the Post, uh, McKenzie and Babbitt met in the Air Force and were married for 14 years before splitting in May 2019. So this woman was actually a, a, a veteran. You know, like I, like I said, the elites of Edom Esau really have a lot of these people, uh, whether they're... And at this point, man... It's, it's very evident that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is controlling the minds of the masses, whether they be uh, of the heathen nations, whether they be of, you know, nations as far as like these Edomites, or whether they be of uh, of our own nation, man, whether they be so-called Negro, Latinos, Native Americans. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is really in complete control, man. You see what I'm saying? Because in the same way 
in the same instance that you have, you know, these Edomites, and then you even have, you even have, cause I saw, you know, certain Jake mixed in with this, uh, with these thugs as well. You know, these, these people who were, uh, storming the Capitol building. I saw some Israelites mixed in, in the crowd too, but you have, you know, a lot of Edomites who really feel, and it's through the spirit, they really feel their control and their grasp, not only in America, but in the world, in a, a worldly sense, uh, they feel that going away. And then you have, uh, you know, people of our nation, so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, who still believe that, uh, America will be healed and will turn around and, uh, you know, through democracy and uh, fighting for your so-called rights and uh, voting and things of that nature, you know, and, and social um, uh, uh, diplomacy will turn around in which through the spirit, man, we, you know, we, we have the ability to discern the times and the seasons in which it's, it's clear as day that. The Heavenly Father, okay, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh being in true and proper name with the Heavenly Father, by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah being in true and proper name of the Lord and Savior, the Messiah of Israel, is quickly casting this place down, man. It's, it's, it's extremely evident. But just going to finish out the article. McKinsey, um, who did not know Babbitt had traveled to D.C. for the protests, was shocked by the news of her death and, and described her as smart and strong-willed. See, that's another thing, too. Women, e, e, Sleazy E, all right, eat him Esau and got y'all women all riled up, that y'all don't know y'all place. You see what I'm saying? Even, even with that, women aren't supposed to be on the battlefield on the front lines, aren't supposed to be all up in the ward. Women supposed to be at home tending for and, and uh, taking care of the, the household and the children, man. You see what I'm saying? But what? Through the American democracy... In uh, ideology, uh, uh, equal rights, everything like that. This woman uh, not only felt uh, compelled to go out here and uh, and uh, get put to death by uh, uh, storming the Capitol building, but she also served in the military, which which also uh, 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 magnified her her head and her pride. Man, uh, continuing on, I feel absolutely terrible and sick to my stomach about it. He wrote in a text message. And hey, we understand that ultimately it's uh, uh, the issues of life and death, okay, and judgment um, uh, come down from the heavens, man, from the throne of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. She was never afraid to speak her mind, and in a way, this was her speaking her mind, going to the rally. Yeah, and, she, and, and see, like I said, through this American um, ideology, okay, and uh, 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 democracy, you see what I'm saying? It got, uh, it, it turned the things of, Upside down, man. You know what I'm saying? The way that um, men are supposed to be, supposed to conduct. The way that women are supposed to be, and supposed to conduct. Children. You see what I'm saying? Everything is turned upside down. And you see, and and you see what this leads to. This leads to uh, uh ultimately to to the ways of death, man. Okay. Um. I just want to read this last little part. Babbitt's mother-in-law. Okay. Uh. Which did not identify her by name that her uh said that her son didn't accompany her to washington quote i really didn't i really don't know why she decided to do this also because you have about me how was shy wanted her ass to do this man okay in an interview with san diego station uh kusi babbitt's husband said she was a passionate trump supporter mckinty echoed those sentiments adding that she was very loud and opinionated but caring, sweet, thoughtful, and loving. And see, that's not a way that a woman's supposed to be anyway. A woman ain't supposed to be all loud and opinionated. Okay, a woman's supposed to be quiet, man. You see what I'm saying? And uh, um, and and pretty much um, all about the will of her husband. But at the end of the day, like I said, you know, we don't really, we're not really overly concerned about her because one, she appears to be Edomite, and two, she was a uh, um. All just all out of the spirit, man, as far as the, the nature and the place in which a woman is supposed to be. And at the end of the day, she was drunk off of that Babylon juice, man. But um, I'm just going to go to uh, Isaiah, the 47th chapter. I'll start from the top. Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. And I feel like this was a, an appropriate scripture because it's speaking about a virgin daughter in which... This is 
uh, uh, you know, a daughter of Babylon, so to speak. This is a, a woman. Um, uh, um, this is a woman, pretty much a Babylonian woman product production. You see, what I'm saying a a, a a a manifestation, so to speak, of a a a daughter of Babylon. You you seeing it right before you right before your your eyes. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. And see, there is no more throne for America, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is casting the, the throne and the rulership of America down to the ground. And even with this, first of all, like I said, the woman's supposed to be in their home, supposed to be at home, taking care of the uh the household, okay, the household, household uh matters. But then even with this, you see, she uh was moving in and had a warlike spirit on her, trying to storm the Capitol building and do only Lord knows what. And she got uh, slain. She got slain. She got put to death because uh, uh, the, the spirit of Babylon is also uh, no more tender and delicate. It didn't care that the, the, the officer that, that pulled the trigger, he didn't care that uh, this was a woman, you know, storm, storming the Capitol and trying to, um, you know, uh, cause havoc and chaos. To him, she was just a threat. And he, and he uh, put her down, man. All right. Uh, verse two, take the millstones and grind mill, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. And see, this is the time in which um, throughout the entire world, the, the whole world is uh, seeing the stage that, that, that Yahweh Bashmi is setting in America. And, and, and that uh, it's obvious that, first of all, America split, in which America's always been split, man. It's always been a, a, a story of the have, the haves and the have nots. But also uh, um, the things in which America has been trying to cover for decades and for hundreds of years are being uh, um, shown through the spirit. And it's a continuation of really the uh, the path and policies in which uh, the, the elites of Edom Esau, the so-called right race, have established to keep them up on high and keep the, uh, the, the, the majority of the people down low. Verse three, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. See, the nakedness and the, the secret things of this country, so, uh, uh, so to speak, are being uncovered and the shame being seen to the point that the world is seeing um, uh, officers of the law, okay, officers of the land put women to death and so-called white women at that. But what? The, the people... Um, are in an unruly spirit and they were even egged on by the president man you see what i'm saying in which it's 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 really just a chaotic scene okay in which to me i don't i don't really feel as if the masses truly understand how big of a moment this was you had hundreds if not thousands of people uh occupying and storming the capitol building to prevent um those politicians from pretty much a, a, a um making the transition from the Trump administration to the Biden administration uh, uh, official. And these people knew exactly what they were doing, man. They, they were really uh, moving in the spirit of anarchy, man. But what? Yahweh Bashri, Yahweh Shai put that vengeance on, on uh, certain of these people, man, including that woman. And then ultimately what? Yeah, when Yahweh Shai returns, he's not going to meet this world as a man. Yahweh Shai is going to uh, return in his uh, perfected spiritual body, man. All right? Verse four, as for our Redeemer, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. You see, and 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 like I said, you you know that Jake was in the midst of those uh um those storming the Capitol building. Cause Jake always in the midst of everything, man. Anytime some wickedness going on or some some offness is going on, Jake gonna be in the midst of that thing, man. You see what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, when Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah returns and um moves in the spirit of salvation is going to be for the nation of Israel, man. All right. And, and the, the elect chosen of the nation of Israel. Continuing on verse five, sit thou silent, get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms. And see, it's only going to show more and more as time goes on that these American politicians the the the, the so-called po the police you know police men and women the police forces those who are um 
uh, instituted and run to uphold and maintain the policies of this uh, uh, society, they ain't going to have no power, man. They're going to they gonna, uh, uh, try to talk that good talk. Like they like they do and, and, and make people uh uh feel safe and secure. But as time goes on, the judgments uh uh coming down from Yahweh by Shmi was shy and the fulfillment of prophecy is gonna make it to where they, man, they ain't gonna have nothing to say. And it's gonna be clear that the the power of the heavens, okay, the almighty Yahweh by Shmi was shy, uh power of Israel, God of Israel, is a uh, uh uh casting this this place down, man. All right. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient. Hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke? And see, we were delivered into the hands of uh, our main e enemies, Edom Esau, because the, he the heavenly father, Yahweh was, was mad and angry at us, man, because we weren't uh, um, fulfilling our um, duty to serve him. And that's why we were given into the hands of our enemies. But at the end of the day, Edom Esau just showed no mercy, man. And he just went too far in his power and control over us, man. Okay. Uh, uh, and, and he is, uh, like I said, he's uh, upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. Meaning that Edom Esau just showed our people no mercy. All right. From the, from the moment you come out of the womb to the moment you put in the ground, man. Uh, these Edomites have shown us no mercy, man. So ultimately, when um, our time of captivity is over, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Shemiah, and Shah is going to deliver us, Lord willing, we're counted in that number, by the hand and by the way of his only begotten son, Yahweh, Shai. All right, and finishing now, Isaiah 47 and 7. And thou saidest, saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou did, didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst this remember the latter end of it see and like i said this right here that's what i was looking for a byproduct she is a byproduct of um a sleazy ease white supremacy man she's a byproduct of that and she was drunk man she was drunk on that spiritual babylon juice in which she thinking not only she, you could tell this woman was utterly confused she don't know whether she want to be a woman, a veteran, a patriot. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? A wife. She don't know what she wanted to be. Because what? She was a, a byproduct of Babylon, a place of utter and total confusion. You see what I'm saying? And, and this is just one example, just one judgment in which it shows Yahweh Shem is showing that, uh, uh, man, we're close, man. We're close to the end of this thing, man. Because not only you now you think to the to the twenties, thirties, forties, or fifties, not only would it be unthinkable for a, a so called white woman to get put to death by the hands of a police officer in, in that form in that fashion, it would be unthinkable for her to even take her white red pasty ass out of her house to do some stuff like this. But what? Through um feminism. Okay, equal rights, so to speak, in which it only makes sense. How are you going to be a king and have, have a kingdom and have equal rights? It doesn't make sense. And that's how you know it's lies, man. It's BS. It's confusion designed to uh, blind the masses. But like I said, this was 40, 50. Uh, this was, you know, 60 plus years ago. Not only would it be unthinkable for the police to put a woman like this to death, it would be unthinkable for her to even be out in the streets doing those things that she was doing. You see what I'm saying? Storming the Capitol building or a uh, 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 riot and a protest uh, against the government. And this goes to show you that Edom Esau is losing his control, not only um, on his society, but also over his citizens, man. Okay? And uh, I'm going to read that again. Isaiah 47 and 7. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. See? And in the minds and the hearts and spirits of these elites, they really believed, okay, and really believe that they're going to be able to fully implement their, their so-called new world order agenda, okay? But because they didn't think of the, the latter end, the fact that um, they've, com they've completely uh, moved to, tr to, to, to try to destroy the nation of Israel, okay, uh, uh, moved to continue to discontinue us from our heritage and, and try to cover the fact of who we are, even though they know who we are, uh, 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 continue to um, oppress 
us as a people, okay, and uh, uh, definitely oppress the men of our nation, they didn't think about and uh, uh, consider the fact that there's a price to pay for all this, man, okay? And the price ultimately is going to be the land uh, 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 and uh, kingdom of America being utterly destroyed, man, okay? So I'm off there, Lord willing you edify. And once again, before I close out, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, or Chakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and my elders of great millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to my fellow occupation, word and true faith, and sincerity across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom.